Hi, I'm Kendra Bailey Morris and welcome to the heart of the home. Today we are in Sir Tobbs beautiful kitchen here in Richmond, Virginia and the ingredient of the day is going to be raw kale and I absolutely love raw green vegetables like this. They're, at, they're so packed with flavor and they're also really, really, really good for you. I can't stress that enough. It's packed with vitamins and all types of goodness and I believe, I love cook, slow cooking them, I love sauteing them, but when it comes to kale, one of my favorite ways to have it is in a salad. Um, and it's a, a, typically a bitter green, so we're going to do a raw kale salad and we're going to top it with some roasted beets for sweetness and then add a little tangy zest by doing a horseradish dressing. And it's a creamy horseradish dressing that's going to have a little bit of mayo, a little sour cream in it. Really good. Top it with some pumpkin seeds for crunch. It's delicious, super, super healthy dish. So. What I've done, and I've already got it going in the oven, is I'm roasting my beets. And I'm going to show you how I do that. It's really, really, really easy. It's, you don't necessarily need to be using canned beets anymore when you learn this process. And what I've done is I basically just took a whole beet here, and I'm just going to take it. As you can see, it's got the skin on it and everything. It's ready to go. And I just tightly wrapped it in foil and then put it in the oven at 375 for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes until it's really nice and tender. And then once you take them out of the oven, which I'm doing now, I will caution you, beets are messy, <laughs> but it's worth it because they really are delicious and there's nothing like that earthy flavor of a fresh roasted beet. And the nice thing is once you roast them like this, you can let them cool just a bit and then it's really easy to take the skin off of it. And I'm just going to do that right now. Again, this is super, super healthy as well. And you will get messy hands, I'm not going to lie about that. But one thing that I like to use um, when I'm working with beets so I don't get my cutting board messy is to use one of these plastic mats and you can just wash them off really easily. And I'm just going to cut the ends of this off just like this. And then I'm going to cut these beets. You can cut them into quarters, you can cut them into cubes, whatever you like. Just go ahead and quarter them. And this is going to go on top of our salad. And again, this is what is going to add that really nice sweetness to balance out um, the slight bitterness of the greens and then also the horseradish, which has a bit of zest to it as well. Okay, now that our beets are done, and you could do this a day ahead if you needed to, um, we're just going to set that aside and we're going to make the dressing. Again, it's a really, really easy dressing. I've got a little bit of cider vinegar. You could use any vinegar that you have. I like the flavor of cider vinegar. And some sugar. About a teaspoon or so each. And I'm just going to whisk that around. And what you're going for is to try your best to dissolve that sugar so you don't have too many crunchy pieces in there when you add the rest of your ingredients. That's what I'm doing right here. Okay. And now I've got some sour cream. I'm going to add that in. Some mayonnaise. Add that in. And you could certainly, if you wanted to cut the fat on this, you could use low fat mayonnaise and low fat sour cream. No problem there, even fat free if you wanted to. And now I'm going to add my horseradish. And you could add, I've got about, a, maybe about a tablespoon in here. You could add less if you want less horseradish. If you're not a big fan of that flavor, you can add more. I love horseradish, so I'm doing a full tablespoon here. Okay. And now I've got just a little bit of Worcestershire, just to add a little extra flavor. This is done. I'm going to give a pinch of salt and a little bit of black pepper. Continue to whisk this just a bit. And this is what is going to go in our salad. And what I like to do is dress salads very lightly. And, and typically with kale as well, it, because it's so crunchy and it is completely raw, this type of kale that we're working with, um, you can go ahead and um, add the dressing maybe 15 minutes before you serve it and then kind of massage it into the kale a bit 
and that will help tenderize it and make it a little less crunchy if you like it that way. So I'm going to add almost all the dressing. I'll save a little bit to go on top or on the side. Some people like their salads heavily dressed, others don't. And I'm just going to get in there. Clean hands, and then I'm really just going to massage this in, like I said. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my beets. And I'm just going to put these right on top. Certainly you could mix it all together if you like. You can always tell you're eating something healthy when it's this colorful. You have your greens and your reds. And then for a little crunch, I'm just adding some toasted pumpkin seeds or pepitas as they are called. You could add walnuts. You could add any type of nut that you have. Cashews would be really nice in there as well. Give a little, little drizzle, just in case somebody wants a little extra dressing. There you go. And if you wanted before you served it, you could go ahead and toss this one more time. Otherwise, you can just have guests serve themselves or plate these individually, just like so. There you have it, raw kale salad with roasted beets and a creamy horseradish dressing. I'm Kendra Bailey Morris. Let's get cooking. Recipes from the heart of the home can be found on the Virginia Farm Bureau website at vafarmbureau.org.